Greetings, my cherished learners. Welcome to Science with Ajizi. Today we'll be looking at elements, compounds, and mixtures. We'll proceed and classify some substances that exist as elements, compounds, and mixtures. And then we will look at the first 20 elements and then their chemical symbol and more. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to explain elements, compounds, and mixtures, classify some substances that exist as elements, compounds, and mixtures, and write the chemical symbol for the first 20 elements. Let us start with elements. Of, this is not the first time you are hearing this. You've heard elements, but I'm basically here for the foundation to make you understand every bit of this lesson. So, elements an element is a pure substance that is made up of the same kind of atoms and cannot be broken down into any simpler form by any known chemical process pure substance made up of same kind of atoms cannot be broken down into any simpler form by any known chemical process. So we can think of elements as the basic fundamental, the basic building blocks of matter. You can think of a gold bar. You have a gold bar, you can melt it, you can, you, can, you, can, you can break it, but you can never destroy the gold. And that is how elements are made of. And you know, you know of all the elements. You know of the hydrogen. You know of calcium. You know of potassium and, and so forth. So an element is a pure substance. That is made up of the same kind of atoms and cannot be broken down into any simpler form by any known chemical process. Let's proceed and look at what compounds are. A compound is a pure substance formed from the chemical combination of two or more elements. We have already ascertained or established that um, an element is a pure substance. Now, a compound is the chemical combination of two or more substances. So a compound is a substance formed from the chemical combination of two or more elements. And um, you can think of an, a compound, you can think of an element like hydrogen and then oxygen. Once we, we, we are able to combine hydrogen and oxygen, we will have water. That is H2O. So H2O is a compound formed from hydrogen and oxygen. And guess what? You can look at the state of hydrogen. You can look at the state of oxygen and then the state of the product formed. Once one thing you should also bear in mind for compounds are that the products are the products formed are always different from the constituent that came together to form the product. This is hydrogen, this is oxygen, and this is water. Hydrogen is a gas, oxygen is a gas. They came together chemically and they gave us H2O, and H2O is water liquid so the individual elements that come together to form the compound don't look like the products we can take another example like sodium chloride sodium chloride this is a compound and this is common salt the one we, we, we eat at our homes sodium is a metal chlorine is a gas they come together chemically and they form sodium chloride. That is a solid. So you see, they, they don't look like the products. Sodium is a metal that's a solid. 
and chlorine is a gas. When you combine them chemically, you have sodium chloride. And sodium chloride is the salt. That's solid, so it doesn't even look like the, the individual, that individual element that came together to give you the sodium chloride. And let's look at meshes. Meshes. Mixtures are basically the physical combination of two or more substances. Physical combination of two or more substances. And because it is physical combination, these products that are formed can be separated by physical means. Let's say you have a mixture of salt and water. Salt is a compound, the sodium chloride. Water is also a compound, H2O. Now, when you mix them together physically, it becomes salt solution. Now, you can actually, by, by just watching that salt and water, you can see that they have mixed completely. But you, when you taste it, you feel like there's salt and there's water. Now, the product from the individual constituent of the product, like the salt and then the water, you will still feel it in the, in the end. You will feel like this is water and this is salt. So that's the difference between a compound and then a mixture. For mixture, the product that is formed, you would feel the individual element that came together to form the mixture. But compound, the product is different from the individual element that came together. So this and this is salt solution. So I believe you are following, you have learned elements, that an element is a pure substance made up of same kind of atoms and cannot be broken down into any simpler form by any known chemical process. Let's take something like water. Yes, you can break water down into the hydrogen and then O2. This is a molecule. A molecule of hydrogen and then a molecule of oxygen. You can also break this one down into the elemental state, oxygen and then hydrogen. From here, you can't break it down and you wouldn't be able to break it down. And that is an element. So we've learned elements, we've learned compounds, and we've learned about meshes. I hope now we can define elements, compounds, and meshes. Um, with, with the help of the little explanation, now let's do this one together. Um, let's classify these set of items as elements, compounds, and meshes. I believe you are seeing, and then you can actually tell which is which and which is that. Um, we have table sort. We have table sort. We have table sort. And table sort is a compound. We have nickel. Nickel is an element. We have gold bar. Gold bar is just picture it as um, a bar of a particular soup. It is just the same soup that has been made long. So gold bar is just elongated gold. So it is the gold. So gold bar is an element. Water, of course, is a compound, H2O. Aluminium foil. And a foil is, you see, when you buy um, a canned product, immediately you move the lid or the cover, you realize there's a, there's a, there's a, metal, a, metallic, um, a metallic covering that you have to remove before you can enjoy your product. Mostly, it covers cake. Um, when, you, when you order for um, fried rice and all that, that metallic, that metallic, metallic soft substance that they put the food in is called foil. So this one is aluminum foil. And aluminum foil is an element. We have air. Air is a mixture. We have oxygen, carbon dioxide. So air is a mixture. We have crude oil. Crude oil, you will hear Ghana has oil. Ghana has oil. Crude oil is also a mixture because we have petrol there, we have diesel, and all those, all those mixtures. So crude oil is a mixture. Perfume, of course, is also a mixture. 
Copper is an element. Soil is a mixture. And smoke is a mixture. Um, I believe we've learned something new today. That's elements, compounds, and mixtures. And then before I go, there are also several types of mixtures. We have what we call the heterogeneous mixture and then the homogeneous mixture. Um, once you have a solvent, that's the liquid, and then a solute, and you mix them, and then they dissolve completely, like salt and water, and they dissolve completely, same, like they look the same, even until you taste it, that is a homogeneous mixture. Now, heterogeneous mixtures is a mixture of two substances, two or more substances that do not mix. Example is oil and water. You realize when you pour oil into water, you will have the oil suspending and then the water, will depend on the kind of oil, there will be separation. That is a heterogeneous mixture. So, my cherished learners, this brings us to the end of today's lesson. I believe you've learned something new. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn the bell button on so once you post any new video, you'll be notified. Catch you same time. Chalade.